Good afternoon, everyone. It's nearly uh, at the end of the day. Uh, I know that we are tired, but I hope that uh, you will find something interesting from the study. Uh, the prevalence of the, the risk factors for anxiety and depression among our patients with COPD at Southern Hosp People Hospital. Yeah, as all we know, COPD is a, an, a cause leading a cause of mortality and morbidity worldwide. Uh, and it is a systemic disease, so uh, the treating COPD requires not only treating exacerbation, managing the symptoms, but also controlling the comorbidities um, consisting of uh, mental health conditions. Amongst anxiety and depression are very important in patients with COPD because first, it's very common uh, the relevance of anxiety and depression uh, in patients with COPD are higher than patients without COPD, and it can lead to the adverse disease outcomes, and it can, be, uh, it can respond well with the appropriate treatment. So anxiety and depression uh, should be concerned in a patient with COPD. However, uh, in clinical practice, uh, anxiety and depression are well not recognized among patients with COPD, um, especially in Vietnam where there is a, uh, what is a psychiatry uh, resources are limited and there is low awareness of uh, these conditions, uh, not only in the patient, but also a physician. So um, the anxiety and depression may be um, under-diagnosed and under-treatment among patients with COPD. So we conducted the study with the research question is, in, among pa our patients with COPD, what at Zedden Hospital, what is the proportion of patients have anxiety and depression, and what is the risk factor of those psychiatric disorder? And this is a cross-sectional uh, design study, and the subject, uh, are the patients who attended to asthma and COPD management unit at Sheldon Hospital. And after calculating the sample size, we needed 193 patients for the study. Uh, we used the criteria for diagnose, uh, diagnosing COPD based on the GOAL guideline. We excluded uh, the patients who have other psychiatrist disorders. And to define uh, the anxiety and depression, we use a hospital anxiety, anxiety and depression scales with a cut bone of more than or equal to eight. And to define the risk factor, we collected uh, the data about the demographic characteristic, comorbidities, exacerbation by years, FEU1, family and social economy status, tobacco use, alcohol consumption, and dyspnea severity. And after excluding the patient who were not eligible, who did not agree to participate in the study, and the patient who had uh, missing data with the HADS scales and the uh, missing data from the data collection form, we have 184 patients for analyzing. And after uh, an analysis, we found that um, the majority of the patients in the study were male, and the average uh, age uh, were about 66 years. Um, the, the patient in the study were mainly uh, a smoker, and uh, over a half patient have the MRC uh, more than or equal to two. And the hypertension is the most common comorbidity among patients with COPDs. And uh, about one third patient have one exacerbation leading to hospitalization. Based on the population with the characteristic like that, we found that the prevalence of the anxiety is uh, was about uh, 22 uh, 21 percent, and the prevalence of the eruption, depression was about 41 percent. Our finding on uh, high prevalence anxiety and depression among uh, patients with COPD are in line with previous data. However, the uh, result from um, different data, 
different uh, studies are different. For instance, our result uh, is higher than a meta-analysis, in which is uh, the relevance of the direction is uh, 24%. Uh, another uh, example that from a systematic review, um, the prevalence of uh, anxiety is in the range from uh, 13 to 46 percent. Uh, there are some reasons for difference. Uh, the first reason is the screening tool that the uh, author used to define the anxiety and depression. And the second reason is the difference between male and female in the study. And the last but not least, that is the capacity of treating psychiatrist problem of the countries uh, that the uh, study conducted. Yeah, from the result, uh, we found that the age and the MMRC are the risk factor for anxiety, and the uh, duration of disease and MMRC are the risk uh, are associated with the depression. And our findings are also relevant to prior study. For instance, a study from India demonstrated that dyspnea, severity, disease duration, exacerbation history are the risk factor for both anxiety and depression, and the younger patients with COPD are more likely to have psychiatric disorder. It can be explained that uh, the older people have a well adaption with the disease uh, than the younger. So, the reason and the discussion leads me to conclude that anxiety and depression are very common in patients with COPD, and they, they should be screened among patients with COPD, particularly the patient who, ha who has younger age, prolonged disease duration, and more severe blindness. Thank you for listening.